All right, here we go. This is a review on my 2020 Marin Rift Zone 3. It's the third in the line right before you get to carbon. Uh, this is the aluminum version. This bike is what you would consider a down country bike, right in the middle between cross country and trail bike. It's more of like an XC bike, but meant to be ridden a little bit more aggressively and uh, it prefers to go downhill. It has 130 mil suspension in the front, accompanied with 125 in the rear. So that puts it slightly above a cross country range. So in the front, what we have for suspension is gonna be a 130 mil Z2 bomber. This fork is really good. It's put on the budget spectrum of forks, but honestly, when you ride it out there, it feels very premium. In the rear, we have a Fox Float 125 mil. That's pretty supple. I find on uh, most trail rides, I leave it in the middle setting. I don't really need to put it on super soft or lock it out when climbing. The middle setting has it just perfectly right. So for a drivetrain, this bike has Shimano SLX. It has a shifter and a derailleur that's Shimano SLX, but the cassette is actually a Sunrace cassette, 11 to 50 tooth. For a dropper post, this bike has an X-Fusion 150 mil travel dropper post. I'm about 5'8", and I feel that this dropper post is probably slammed as far down as possible, and it's just fitting me just right. If you're a smaller rider, you may want to look to getting maybe a 125 mil. Some quick specs on this bike. The head angle in the front is 65.5 degrees, which gives you a nice and slack approach when you're going down hills. The seat angle is at 76, so it's pretty decent for climbing up as well. And for a size medium, the reach is about 455. For brakes, we have the Shimano MT420 four-piston hydraulic brakes. They provide plenty of stopping power when needed. For some custom parts on my bike, I did swap out the dropper post lever. The old lever that came with it was an X-Fusion lever. It was plastic, a couple rides, I knocked into it and it eventually broke. I replaced it with the Wolf Tooth lever and haven't had a problem since. The tires that also came on this bike, they were the Snap Flows. Those tires were just slightly too grippy for the XC racing that I was going to bring this bike to. So I did switch it to the Maxxis Ardents. I'm currently running two Maxxis Ardents, front and rear, 2.4s. Approximately 20 PSI in the, in the rear and 19 PSI in the front. The reason why I choose these tires is because they do lack traction, but do provide me with the extra speed that I need, which I feel for me is a positive. For the bars on this bike, it's currently running 780 bars. It's the Marin in-house brand, along with the Marin stem. For wheels on this bike, it's currently running the Marin wheel set. They're a little bit heavy. That's something I would probably upgrade to save some weight. Just note that on the rear wheel, it does not have micro spline. So you're not going to be able to use the Shimano SLX cassette in the rear. For pedals, I'm currently running the Shimano Trail clip-ins. I prefer to be clipped in. Uh, some people like to run flats. It's all a preference. I'd like it when I'm going over chunky stuff to have my feet nice and planted and still stuck to the bike. So this is my Marin Rift Zone 3 2020. And uh, hopefully this thing's going to bring me on so many more adventures. Like they said, it's made for fun.